Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's pick a card reading will be asking do they really care about me? Uh, so this one is for those of you who are currently in a relationship or um, for those of you who have just met your new person. So either you've been with your person for some time now, um, maybe you have some questions about how they feel about you and if they do really care, um, or maybe you've just met this person and you've only just started seeing them and you're wondering if there is any future in this relationship and if it is genuine. Um, so yeah, asking the question of, do they really care about me? Uh, keeping in mind that this is a general reading, um, just take what resonates. Some of it may resonate, all of it may resonate, or if none of it resonates at all, then just know that there wasn't a message for you in this particular reading. Um, yeah, take what resonates and pay attention to um, what gets stuck, what feels a bit bothersome. Um, sometimes there's messages in those things that um, don't really resonate but just sort of seem to stick with us or you know, stick in our craw for some reason. Um, this is also a timeless reading so it means that it can be done at any time or any stage regardless of when it was uploaded. Um, if you find that the reading does resonate please don't forget to hit the like button on the video and if you like this sort of content please consider subscribing and to those of you who have already subscribed thank you so much. Um, I'm only just a tiny little channel at the moment but we all have to start somewhere and so I really really appreciate your support. Um, again for those of you who have been watching the pick a card readings and um, especially if you've liked or commented or shared I really really appreciate your support. So without further ado we will get into it. We've got six piles today and we're reading from the Rider Waite tarot deck and I've popped down some little post-its on top of each um, symbol that I've used. I've gone with some little chipboard, I think they're called chipboard, little scrapbooking embellishments. So for pile number one we have the owl, little golden owl. I want to post it so that you can actually see what it is. Pile number two we have a little bluebird. Pile number three we have the leaf. Pile number four, we have the key. Pile number five, we have the purple flower. And for pile number six, oh, if I can pick it up, we have the purple and green or turquoise butterfly. So take a moment to look at the piles, um, choose a symbol or a pile that resonates with you and we will get stuck into the reading. Okay, pile number one. Hello and thank you for coming to my pick a card reading. Today we're asking, do they really care about me? And if you picked the gold now, then you are pile number one. So let's see what the cards have you. Justice, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Devil. Okay, so the tarot is not messing around today. We're getting straight into it without pulling any punches. Group number one. Yeah, okay, this could actually mean a couple of different things. Um, so I will spend a moment going through the various different scenarios that this could present um, and it'll be up to you to decide which one feels the most fitting to you. But I get the sense that this person is someone who keeps very much within themselves. So we've got here in the justice card we have someone who is quite balanced in their personality that's someone who um i'm getting the sense this isn't someone who is prone to sort of you know explosions or temper tantrums or arguments and fights they're someone who is very observant very balanced very fair um 
very truthful and very honest. I think that they, this person that you're asking about group one, they're essentially a good person. Um, this devil card here might be scaring a few people as I know it often does. Um, we will definitely get to that. But this is someone who is very hardworking as well. We can see this in the eight of pentacles. This is a person who is working really hard at something. And then when we come here to the devil, this is where this reading gets a bit interesting because of the different things that the devil can represent. So as you can see here, I hope I'm showing this properly. Sorry guys, I've got the halo light and it tends to make life a bit difficult, but we've got, we've got the devil, we've got this woman, we've got this man, and they're chained here to the devil. But as you can see, their chains are quite loose. So this isn't something they're tied here to the devil. And the devil here represents not Satan or the devil or or anything like that that we tend to think of with Christianity. He's got the upside down pointed pentacle and whatnot, so he can be quite a fearsome image. But what he represents can be addiction. Um, it can be codependency. Um, when I say addiction, it can be very much addiction to substance abuse, um, whether that's alcohol, whether that's drugs. Um, it can potentially be any of those things, but it can also be addiction to work, like a workaholic. So these are some of the, the different scenarios. If the person that you're asking about, you're aware that they are addicted to a, a substance, then this is potentially one scenario. And again, that could be, um, in terms of being, when I say a substance, they could be drugs or alcohol. Um, then the scenario here is that they are probably more focused on, on that addiction. But I really don't think that it's that in this reading group. Number one, I think this is someone who they mean well. And as I said, they are fair. They're not a liar. They're not a cheat. They're hardworking. But I think that at this point, they are probably quite addicted to their work. The other option is that there could be a codependency here. And it could be that this person, or they could feel a little bit chained somehow to you financially as well in terms of codependency. So if this is someone that you have been with for a really long time or for, for a long time, long enough that you uh, sort of share finances and have um, joint financial interests, then potentially they could be feeling a bit bogged down at this point because they are working so hard and they're trying to find some balance in that. So it could be that something is a bit out of whack with this person. If you're finding that they do seem to be very quiet, very kind of just reserved, maybe it is that this person is just feeling a bit overloaded at this point and as though they are actually the one who, maybe they're just working quietly away in the background and they're feeling a bit changed to the work that they're doing. So. Yeah, I get the sense that this it's not that this person, whether or not they, I think that they care a lot because they are here working really hard. It would seem for this relationship, but if they are feeling very distant, it could be also that they are someone who is, I mean, they're here. That's the thing. They are here, but their focus is really not so much on yourself. And if it is on the relationship at this point, it's, they're working away at it quietly. Um, but there does seem to be here with the devil. There's a bit of a case of just being a bit chained to something. So I feel like this person is, they're here with you. They're certainly not going anywhere, but they're trying to find balance at this point. I think they're feeling a bit bogged down. I do see that, as I said, they seem like a fair-minded, um, open kind of person. Um, they're someone who's quite reasonable. They're very respected. They are someone who is probably really respected in their workplace as well. Um, this devil card can also mean, as it says here in the keywords, that they need to show more spunk. So it might be someone who just is a bit boring and, and is not someone, there's no emotions in these cards whatsoever. We've very much got the earth signs here. So they're a very grounded person, maybe a Virgo, um, possibly a Capricorn, or I always forget the third one and I always cycle around to the third of the earth signs that I forget. I will come back to it. It will pop into my mind. Um, Taurus, there we go. Uh, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Um, so maybe they are an earth sign or maybe they just are very grounded 
in their nature. They're very quiet, um, but I get the sense that, yeah, they are struggling with something here. So um, it's asking as well to let go of inhibition. So this person, I, I think that they do care. I think that they are someone who does care, but it might be really difficult for you to see that because there is no sense of emotions. There's no cups, there's no air, uh, no swords. So there isn't a huge amount, well, there is the sword with justice. So there might be some communication from this person, but it's never in an emotional way. It's very, very balanced, weighed up, very fair. Um, and so it may feel sometimes as though there's no real fire in them. There's no wands in this either. So there might be that there isn't that real fire or spark that you want to be feeling in this relationship. If it's a new relationship, I get the sense so this is very much all these things that I've just said are speaking about, I guess, if it's more of a, a long-term relationship or more of an established relationship, I should say. But I think if this is a new relationship, it potentially will feel really difficult to get to know this person in as much as they're not, they, they're a very stable, very balanced, very fair person, um, but they are focused on trying to build something for themselves. Um, and maybe they might be holding back, they might even be holding back and be a little bit chained to that if it is someone that's new that's coming in. Um, they might be someone, yeah, that is spending a lot of time just to, trying to really get themselves established before they want to chain themselves down to a relationship, so to speak. So it might be that they do appear whilst not being, um, yeah, sort of, you know, not ghosting you. They're definitely here. They're someone who's fair. They they um, speak honestly. They listen objectively. They're someone who seems quite solid and seems like someone that you would really want to be with. But at the same time, they are possibly kind of avoiding commitment at this point. And if that's the case, it, it isn't because they don't care about you. It's because they're very busily working on themselves at this point in time. And potentially that may even be to be able to give you something um, give more of themselves down the track when they feel like they have a bit more of something to give. But yeah, it's this person, they're, they're quiet, they keep to themselves, they're someone who does need to show a little bit more chutz par and maybe there is something that, as I said, they do feel trained to, whether it's their work, whether it's um, another form of addiction. But unfortunately, pile number one, it certainly doesn't say that they don't care, but it will be very difficult to, I suppose, um, get some real emotion from this person. They're really focused on what it is that they, they need to be doing um, for themselves at the moment. And if they are focusing on what they need to be doing for the relationship, then, you know, if it does feel to you as though they are actually working away for the relationship, then certainly take heart. They are. There's something that they, they may need to pep up. They may need to dislodge themselves from something. Um, but if you do feel that the person you're asking about, they do care but you just wonder sometimes because they just don't have that fire they don't have that emotion then this is definitely a message that yes they do they're working on the relationship but they might just have some stuff on their mind at this point um if it's someone that you feel is really detached and you don't feel like they're working on the relationship at all you feel like they're kind of they're they're working away at something but it feels like it has nothing at all to do with you they feel very distant then it might be a case of, you know, they, especially if it's someone that you're not completely with, you don't feel like you know where you stand with them. Um, whether that is an established relationship or that's just a new relationship, I think then in this case, it's a case of they do have other things on their mind and what they're focusing on is more themselves and where they're at in their own lives at the moment. So I think that in that case, it's more of a case of this person Again, they may, they may come around once they've established themselves and once they've gotten free of whatever it is that this represents to them that's burdening them. So it's certainly not give up all hope, um, group number one. Um, but if that's what feels like it resonates more to you, then it just lets you know that, yeah, as I said, there's something else going on here, but it's not even necessarily about you one way or the other. This person is just a bit in their own head and maybe they need to come out of it. So that's you, group number one. Um, I hope there was something in there that resonated. There were quite a few messages in that pile there. So um, please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section if you've got any questions. Um, I'd be happy to try and answer them. If that uh, did resonate, please remember to hit the like button 
and subscribe if you haven't already and I really hope to see you at the next pick a card video. Thank you. Okay group number two, hello and welcome to my pick a card video. Thank you so much for being here. If you chose the little bluebird then you chose pile number two and we will see what the tarot has here for you. Okay so we've got the nine of wands, oh we have the six of cups and we have the sun. Okay wow pile number two. Um, pile number one was a little bit heavy actually so it's really really lovely to flip up pile number two and see what we have going on here. These are some really happy cards. Um, in asking if this person cares about you, yep they really really do and yeah they've this this person is pretty madly deeply in love with you and really wants to make you happy pile number two so this is someone with the nine of wands here we've got someone who has been a bit hurt um your person might have been hurt in the past experienced some heartbreak and possibly been a little bit slow to warm up to you maybe they've been a bit guarded with their heart up until this point you can see this gentleman is holding his wand in front of him protectively and he's got these wands in the background that he is standing in front of quite protectively along with his little bandage on his head which is showing um, that he's been through the wars a bit. He's, he's had some heartbreak and some struggle and so this might be someone who has taken a while to warm up um, and yeah maybe hasn't really been able to trust in you all that easily so it might feel as though they have been holding back um, and it's someone that you know maybe maybe you know that they care about you maybe you don't um, but I think that they're very much they've been hurt they've been holding back but here in the six of cups this is a wonderful card we've got the little boy giving the flowers here to the little girl and all of these cups lined up with all of the flowers they've got all of the gifts that they're waiting to give to you so either this person has come around um, they've realized that they can trust you and they've managed to overcome this. Um, they have come around and they're, they're already making you feel like the happiest person on earth um, and giving you all of the love that they have to give. If they're not there yet then this is saying that this is coming um, especially with the sun here. The sun is a big yes card, um, very much a, a wish card and a, a happy joyous card as you can see. So yeah this person, uh, pile number two, whether you've just met them um, and they're holding back a bit and they you, you're not yet sure they certainly did bear with this person and give them that time because they they need a bit of a bit of time to rest um, but they will overcome that and they will want to give you all of these gifts and all of this love there's going to be a lot of sunshine in the future of this relationship group number two which is really really wonderful so if it is a new person as I said um, and you're still here in this phase hang in there because it is coming and if you are in an established relationship maybe you're already here and this can even be a sign of even renewed commitment new gifts moving to a new level of um, joy and happiness and commitment in your relationship but number two this is a, a really happy wonderful policy of this person definitely cares they've been a bit wounded but they've they've come to or will be soon coming to trust you and they, they really want to share some wonderful gifts with you. So thank you so much uh, pile number two if you got this um, pile and it did resonate with you please don't forget to like the video and uh, please let me know in the comments because I do love to hear if it did resonate with you. Um, thank you so much for visiting my channel and my pick a card reading and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello group number three. Thank you for joining my pick a card reading. If you pick the little leaf then you are group number three. Let's see what the tarot has to say to you today um, in answer to the question do they care about me. We've got the eight of wands, lots of movement. We've got the ten of pentacles and we have the eight of cups. Okay yeah so I set it for group number one that the tarot is not messing around today. Um, there are 
all sorts of messages going on and um, it is not pulling any punches. So group number three, what do these cards mean for you? Okay, so if you are in an established relationship, if this is something, um, yeah, the relationship that you've been in for a while, this person, they've, they've a, a busy person. There's a lot of movement here. So this is someone who has been, they're either really hard working or they're a very fiery, creative energy. They're someone who's very much always on the go. Um, and we have a mix of everything in, in this reading in terms of signs. We've got the fire energy of um, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo. And then over here we have the very grounded earth energy of Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. And then over here with the Eight of Cups and Emotions, we've got the water sign. So that would be Pisces, um, Scorpio. I'm always forgetting these. I'm so sorry. You're probably thinking, I'm always thinking people are probably screaming it out to the camera if they actually know what they are. Uh, why is it avoiding me again? Uh, I did it in group number one. It will come to me. I'm so sorry, people that are waiting to know what the third one is. But yeah, this could be any of those signs. So maybe you're one of those signs. Maybe they're one of those signs. Maybe they are none of those signs. Good chance they are the one that I can't remember because that's how it tends to go. But yeah, this person, if this is an established relationship, this is someone who's very fiery. They're very fast moving. Um, they're always on the go. They might feel as though they're very difficult to keep up with. Um, but it appears as though there's someone who really does want this kind of relationship and family dynamic they want but they also want success with the pentacles they're someone who is wanting to build up um something that's going to be lasting and for the future but here unfortunately it's showing that they're walking away from what it is that they've built here we've got these three cards together it's like they've worked so hard on building up this vision and then when they arrive at it they're really turning their back on what it is that they've built and the moon being here they're in darkness um you know it's very much the water's very still they're very unemotional here and they've got all of their cups everything stacked up kind of like almost like they they wanted to build this thing and then when they got all of their ducks into a row um they're turning their back on it and walking away so in terms of if you're in an established relationship, I certainly don't want to be saying that um, you're going to break up or, or that this person is going to walk away from you. But there is some sort of challenge that they're going through and it, this might even represent, maybe they might, it, it might even be a case of they just really, they've worked so hard building this up and they've been so busy trying to keep up with the challenge of these things that they've been here working for and what they've been focused on that by the time they get to this point, they've realized that they've actually been turning their back on on the emotional side of things, turning their back on what it is, this, this family here and what it is that they've actually been working so hard to build. So potentially this could be a representation of that. If you're with someone who has been working really hard for a really long time and, you know, maybe you feel like they're always on the go, but you, you kind of don't know exactly where you fit into that. This card is recognition that this person does want these things. They really do want this home life and this family and this, you know, this bountiful life and to really build something that's going to be long lasting. They do feel like they're required to meet their obligations. Um, they're someone who um, I think they, they do know their value, but again, maybe they're someone who doesn't and they're so busy trying to work for all of this because maybe they don't know their value and they need to know their value and so they're working really hard to try and achieve it but feeling behind as though they're behind the eight ball um but yeah they are someone who cares they definitely want this relationship but this comes in and then there is something that they're turning their back on so there's something that they're holding either within themselves and they may realize that in trying to achieve all of this they've been shut off from emotion they've been too busy and they they have been turning their back to emotion um does also have in the keywords again um making sure that you don't hold a grudge um strong enough to grow through this challenge look within 
and why the pessimism. So it could even be too that this person has been working really hard to achieve these things and now that they've arrived here, they're actually feeling, you know, just a bit shut off. So maybe it's a case of they've been really flat out. You've arrived to where you thought that you guys, you know, really wanted to, to be at and now suddenly you're questioning how it is that they feel because they're, they're being really withdrawn or maybe they've changed and they're feeling a bit different if that's the case. Um, yeah, there is something going on within them um, that they're trying to walk away from. Basically, they're trying to walk away from the situation that they're feeling and so that's causing them to either need to look within or they are looking within. Um, as I said, with the darkness of the, the night, the moon, um, just looking a bit sad. This is a bit of a forlorn card. So if this person is someone that you've been with for a while, then yeah, they may, um, it, it may feel as though they have shut off from you when they've, you've achieved this. If this is where you're at and this is what resonates, you feel like you're at this point in your relationship and now you're wondering why they've started to shut off. Um, then they, they, they're going through some things and might even be worth pulling a couple of qualifiers, I think, group number three, because this is not giving me everything I could possibly need to know about this. I'm just wondering if there's some more information that the cards can give us about what's happening here with this one. What are they shut off from? Okay. Hmm, Ace of Pentacles. King of Wands. Yeah, this is a bit difficult, group number three. I feel like this person, they are, they, they're here, but I feel like they're shut off a bit from the, whatever is going on inside of them. They're shut off from their emotions and they're a bit shut off from what the gifts of the universe are willing to offer them I think or what the, the yeah the what gifts the universe has for them um and so there's someone who is running all the time but they're they're also shutting things out turning their back on things the king of wands here he's looking back over everything so it's someone who I think they want to work creatively to be able to build something but there's someone who is struggling a bit with being able to accept getting to this point um it might be someone who is struggling with commitment group three. Um, so yeah, I think this one is, or otherwise, the other thing is if this is a new, a new relationship, potentially it could be someone who swoops in really fast and does what's known as love bombing. That's something else that is coming up in my mind with these two cards here, kind of the swift movement, the wanting to give you everything all at once. Um, and if that's the case, if this is someone new and it's, it's feeling, you know, very early days and they're kind of promising you everything and you're wondering if it's too good to be true, then the answer is very much with this card, yes, this is a bit too good to be true, group number three. And so in terms of the tarot, not pulling any punches, I think if this one, if that is a case, it is too good to be true, then yeah, this person is probably doing a bit of love bombing and is someone who is going to be emotionally unavailable to you. In saying that, then I would be very much reading those as there will be a gift for you if that's the case. And it will be that your your guy is coming and he'll be a wands energy or he or she, your guy, your, your person, sorry, I should say. Um, they'll be a wands energy, but they will be a much more settled, calm wands energy than what this energy is over here. They will be much more equipped to give you what it is that you need. And so it will be really that gift from the universe. Um, if this isn't really new and it is a relationship that you've been in for a while, then I think that this is a case of this person might be a bit stuck in being able to accept those gifts and see themselves here as this person, this sort of, this person that can provide this person who is solid and is able to commit and to be steady and sturdy. So they're kind of feeling like they are always on the go, but they do want this. This is something that they are trying to work towards. Or potentially, again, another variation of that is that it could be 
as well that they've been moving flat out they're trying to get to this there is this period of kind of a bit of burnout possibly just having to turn their back on everything or go within um but in order to be able to receive the gifts that the universe is trying to give that they've been building up over here everything they've been manifesting and they will reach this point they will become again you look at the king of wands and he's sitting there quite comfortably similar to this gentleman interesting that they're facing each other so this is sort of looking toward the future and this is looking back over everything that he has achieved or um they have achieved but they're very much looking over all that they have built and their kingdom so that's a couple of different variations uh pile number three that was very similar to pile number one in that there were a lot of messages going on in these cards today so please um take what resonates with you there were a few different variations as i said um if you had any questions please leave them for me in the comments below uh, i'd be really happy to clarify anything for you if i'm able to um, if it did resonate again please let me know in the comments i love hearing about um when the the readings do resonate for you um and your feedback on the readings whether they resonate or not and if you could like the video that would be much appreciated subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for coming past i look forward to seeing you in my next video okay group number four hello and thank you for coming to my pick a card video if you chose the key then you chose pile number four we'll see what the cards have in store for you we've had some really heavy readings i've had a light reading and yay wonderful okay so group number four yep this one will be a really lovely quick one this person is really really into you um this person is really really into you and really really happy and they want to give you the world um they want to do everything in their power essentially to give you the world and to make you the happiest person um they're really settled they're someone who they really want to commit they are just absolutely floating on air to be with you they're over the moon they're so in love um if this is this is a, such a wonderful reading group number four i'm so pleased if this is a new person um then yeah absolutely this is especially being um the three three cards from the major arcana these are all life lessons soul um journey cards soul evolution cards so yeah this person whether they're new in your life um or they're someone that you have been with for a while it's an established relationship this person is a soulmate um you are absolutely destined to meet them and to end up with them um when i talk about soulmates and i say about being destined to um be with that person i don't necessarily mean forever i'm a big believer that we have several soulmates throughout our lives and they can come in the form of a romantic partner um a friend a family member uh sometimes even a, a person that we meet through work but um in terms of this being do they care about you in this relationship certainly this is someone that you were meant to meet and you were meant to be romantically with and this card over here is all about um abundance uh fertility as well so potentially this one could even mean kids in your future pile number four if you were wondering if this is someone that you do they care about you and, and will you have a family with them that card the empress could potentially represent that um but it could just also represent fertility and abundance in the relationship just a lot of love a lot of happiness a lot of joy feeling really secure um feeling like you know exactly where you stand but yeah they they are as i said they're floating on air um they feel like you complete them um and they really want to do everything that they can in their power to be able to give you the world and make you the happiest person ever they just want you to feel abundant and to just feel essentially just wrapped in their love this person really 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 cares about you so you might already be well aware of that um group four you might have been just asking this just to confirm and if that's the case then yeah you definitely got that this person i feel like it would be hard not to know how much they care about you because these cards are just bang on yes 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 um this person really really genuinely cares about you they want you in their life they feel like you really complete them you are their world they want to give you 
the world and um, if that person is new then uh, yeah you can trust in this one and if they haven't come in yet if you're a single who's just decided you'd come along and uh, check out the reading then certainly there is something pretty awesome coming up in the future um, thank you so much group number four if that resonated please click the like button and um, let me know in the comments and um, I really appreciate you coming past and being here for this pick a card reading I look forward to seeing you in my next video hello group number five welcome to my channel if you chose the purple flower then you chose pile number five so let's see what the tarot has to say to you about do they care about you we've got the knight of wands we have the nine of cups and we have the king of cups okay so we've got um some fire energy going on here leo sagittarius aries and then we've got a lot of water energy going on here um so that is scorpio that is pisces and that is cancer so not sure if your person is one of those things but um yeah this person they they do care about you they've been someone who has maybe been doing their own thing for a while there's someone who they're, they're quite um like i said that's leo sagittarius aries so quite fiery um creative focused but as you can see from this card the knight he's going off in the opposite direction so i think there's been a period maybe either when you first met this person if this is someone that you've just met it might be someone who um seems really excited and kind of really passionate really fiery really into things but is potentially um seeming also as though he's kind of just going or they're just going their own way um not really into things not really kind of focused on the relationship at this point um then this is saying that yes this is someone who they will settle um they will be really happy with all that they've they've been working toward and they will feel as though they got all that they hoped for so if they're not there yet um this person here again is really stable really steady um really in tune with their emotions someone who is wise um someone who will support you someone who will be there for you um someone that you can rely on essentially so yeah i think that if this is a new relationship and you're not here at this point yet um this person seems as though they're kind of one foot in one foot out and, and sort of doing their own thing then take heart group five they will they are into you and um you do make them happy you do make them feel as though you're bringing in what it is that they wanted you are what they wanted and they will be someone that you can rely upon um emotionally who will be there for you and again if this is a established relationship if this is um a relationship that you've been in for a while and you've been wondering how that person feels maybe you're not wondering where it's going or or but you're just sort of wondering what's going on in their head maybe that's been someone who's been sort of a bit in their own head you've been with for a long time but it seems as though they've been pulling away and kind of heading off and and just kind of yeah just off doing their own thing maybe not that um into you these cards here are saying that yeah they they definitely are you are what they want and they are happy they are um really grateful for what they have they just might be someone who's just a bit caught up in their own stuff and isn't really aware of all of the gifts that are, are right here but they definitely do um appreciate you and they yeah they really do care about you they're happy that you're in their lives group number five so let me know if that did resonate um if it did let me know in the comments and please remember to hit that like button on the video uh, it's been really good to have you here at this reading and I look forward to seeing you at my next pick a card hi group number six last but not least so if you chose the turquoise or the green and purple butterfly you chose pile number six and we'll see what the cards have for you to say in answer to the question do they care about me so we've got the ace of wands we have the emperor and we have the page of swords okay so what does this mean group number six um yeah this person does care about you um 
this person does care about you, group number six, but it might be someone who has a little bit of difficulty in actually expressing their emotions and their feelings. So I get here from the Ace of Wands, um, they really feel as though you are a gift to them. You're someone that's come into their life and I feel like you've potentially brought um, maybe a lot of passion and fire and excitement into this person's life. Looking here at the Emperor, this is someone who is quite solid. Um, probably someone who, if you're not already in a committed relationship with them, um, I think that you soon will be, um, or eventually will be. There's someone who, I get the sense that this might be an older person as well, although there is quite a young energy here in the Page of Swords, and this is all about communicating and being a page because they are quite young. It's about learning how to communicate, learning how to kind of keep your opinions to yourself, learning how to clarify your motives and what it is that you want to say um, and your reasons for getting involved. So this might be someone who can be a bit frustrating at times, group number six, and they, they might be someone who even can be a little bit of a know-it-all Potentially, I think um, they could possibly be someone who can be a bit insufferable because they, they sort of are wise and authoritative, but they still need to kind of learn how to express themselves in a way that you feel that you're open to actually take on board from them. But I get the sense that yes, here they do feel as though um, they have been given a gift with you. I'm just having a look at what my keywords say here as well. Yes, attending to your goal as change accelerates, ready to act on imminent or energetic action encouraged. Yeah, this card speaks about something that's come into their life that is, you know, feels like a bit of a, a gift or something new in terms of creative energy. Um, and I feel like that, that speaks about you, but this person is someone who, while they are quite solid and reliable, it might be someone who is really difficult to be able to talk with and kind of understand how it is that they're feeling. I think for you, group number six, we'll pull a couple more cards just to see if we can get a little bit more clarification about what's going on with this person. If there's any more information here that we can kind of glean. Three of Swords, hmm. Yeah, lots of Swords. Energy here, group number six. Got the Page of Swords, the Three of Swords. And we have here the Six of Swords, moving away from something, um, feeling like it's a bit difficult. At this point in time, I get the sense, yeah, this person, they're really, they're, they're someone solid and they do care, but they're struggling with expressing their emotions. And with this card here, the Three of Swords, this one's misunderstandings can strain relationships to breaking point. So this is someone who does care about you, group number six, but I, I get the feeling that it's someone who is really struggling with how to express their emotions, how to communicate. Um, it's someone who needs to learn a bit more about communicating because they maybe they're even sort of feeling very much like they everything they say kind of just shuts you down. Um, sort of, you know, maybe they feel a bit like they're talking to a wall and they're just kind of, you know, they're, they're talking and they're, they're just not getting anywhere. Um, and it is pushing things to, to a breaking point. But look, group number six, that doesn't mean that this person doesn't care. And it certainly doesn't mean that the end is nigh. Um, if it's a new relationship and you're just starting out, I do get the sense that they are going to be someone that, you know, maybe right from the get go, this is something to be really aware of that you guys will have to learn how to communicate really early on in order for this to work. And if this is someone that you've been with for a while, you know, it's an established relationship, then don't write this person off. But um, yeah, definitely there, there seems to be some real blockages here with the way that you guys are communicating or with the way that this person is communicating with you. And that's something that really might need some work. So um, this is a bit of a difficult pile. Group number six, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section. I'd be happy to try and clarify anything for you. 
that I can. Um, if the video resonated with you, then please hit the like button and leave me a comment. I love to hear your feedback um, on what resonated and what didn't. And I really appreciate you coming to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Um, you can also check me out on Facebook at Tarot by Cassie. And I'm on uh, Instagram by the same name at Tarot by Cassie. Um, I'd love for you to come along and follow. I uh, try to post lots of interesting content, lots of tarot memes, lots of laughs, lots of um, card of the days, lots of uh, insight and intuition. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.